what's up guys so this video is actually probably in the middle of another video but being that i have to wait to get the clutch bled because i need help to do it i'm starting this one so you'll probably see the other one first and then it'll all make sense so anyway clutch line's been on and it's bled now as you saw the other video <laughs> but uh yeah now i have time to start putting on like the accessories alternator probably coil packs some stuff here um and just kind of get everything broken down and ready to go so i'm waiting on gaskets for the intake manifold but i think i have a lot of everything else so i'm just gonna start plopping things on getting this thing look more complete So K-Series, a lot of stuff is interchangeable, but some stuff isn't. I know people have issues with the K24A, um, the J Japanese version. Um, the K24A1 is very similar to an A3, so you don't have to change the housing for the water pump. The tensioner lines up, the alternator bolts right up. Everything, as you can see, is all together. I'm just waiting on the EP3 pulley. Um, starter came from the a3 and i changed the thermostat housing because it was broken um, this is the part number 33949 this is from uh, rock auto uh, i'm going to try and put on the um, turbo manifold now and i think that'll wrap up this part of the video because i don't think i have anything else like i'm waiting on thermal gaskets for this um and I don't know how much space is gonna be there. So I might not even put the intake manifold on just because of all the wiring and whatnot, it might be in the way. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I don't wanna time lapse this just because I'm excited and I want you all to see this part because I, don't know, I think this is gonna be cool once it's on. Whip. <laughs> all right i had it on backwards somehow all right back to where we were now it should line up All right, so now if you use your imagination, there's a turbo gonna go right here. 
and that's gonna be pretty badass. It sits kind of close to the uh, valve cover, but maybe I'll put some of that reflective tape there. I don't really know if it's gonna work or not, but it's in there. It's coming along. All right, so it's been a couple days, well, a lot more than a couple days, but got the manifold on and I was waiting on this, which is intake thermal gasket. And it came with the thermal gasket for the throttle body. Uh, so we're gonna put the intake manifold on. Like I mentioned, I think it was the last video, I have a Type S PRB intake manifold, which would be a lot better than uh, cutting the TSX one I have and even like a plastic RSX one. So just go ahead, put this on. Should be pretty straightforward, hopefully. Yep, just like that. I think I'm missing a stud, it don't really matter. But yeah, I'm just gonna throw the intake manifold on now, tighten it up, and then move on to our next thing. All right, so the next thing I have is this plate, and what's that gonna do is block where the VTEC solenoid goes right there. It's uh, This one's from Skunk2, I found it on eBay. It's brand new, and I got a pretty decent deal on it. I think it was like $40 something dollars, and then I had eBay bucks, so it came out to like 30 something. So I'm gonna put this on and get rid of the VTEC. Next, we got the EP3 pulley. Uh, I got this from HMO. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about them, but they source out JDM parts. A lot of people go with their K24A. Um, I decided to go with their pulley just because it's the best price. Um, shipping and everything, I think it came out to like $54. Everywhere else, like eBay and whatnot, and even aftermarket ones, are much more expensive so um hmo is usually the best choice i mean if you want something fancy like i have k-tuned pulley on the eg but oem works perfect for this type of build all right so we got the plate in we got the intake manifold on i took the uh belt off the eg test fit it and it does fit on here and it's 52 and a half uh, I'll end up ordering it and then maybe a following video once I get everything I will uh, tell you the part number of that um, TPS I need to get or throttle body I need a TPS I need a map sensor and idle air control valve um, block off plate I have the swap axles insane shaft 500 horsepower same exact EG is in this box got the half shaft somewhere in this mess so I think this will wrap up this video just because I pretty much put everything I could engine wise and I'll wait to do axles some other time. But um, I think next video might be do the axles and half shaft. Hopefully at that time I do have the TPS and all that. I'll put the belt on. Still waiting on my fuel rail and fuel lines to get made. Ordered that like a week ago. Um, Wire harness, charge harness, like I said in previous video, ECU will be taken from that just to run it. Uh, I would like to get its own K-Pro, but it is expensive. So we'll see about that. And then conversion harness, and we're pretty much ready to be started. And once we know it starts, and hopefully we can drive it a little bit, if we get to that point in like a couple of videos, um, We'll start doing a cooling system, turbo, all that fun stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. The car, you know, it's looking more complete, which is great. And uh, we're getting close to the first startup. All right, so, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, hit me up on egchris92 on Instagram. I'm always happy to help, always happy to answer questions. So, until next time. Later.